Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to join flat entredo to flat fabric. So normally I would use finer weight white thread or whatever color match the fabric and entredo that you're using. But for demonstration purposes, I'm using this thicker in your face blue color. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put your entredo to your fabric with right sides together. And you're going to make it so that the raw edge of your entredo and the raw edge of your fabric are even and then you're gonna stitch right there in the ditch of the entredeau. This was a little bit challenging for me because I'm trying to stitch around the camera. I'm trying to figure out better views for y'all so y'all can see like the work as up close and in person as possible with these cameras. I'm still learning and still trying to improve on it, but I'm trying to get better with it. So I'm sewing around a camera here, which is kind of awkward standing up sewing around a camera, so bear with me. And I'm back stitching. I'm not sure if you actually have to back stitch, but I figure it can't hurt. So I do back stitch the start and end of this seam. And then when you're done, it should look like this. And you can see that first part of the seam, it's off a little bit from being in the ditch because I was trying to get used to like hugging this camera while I sew standing up, but it got better. So as you look, Further down, you can see it goes back into the ditch, and that's what you want. And now that you have that first part done, you're going to trim up these edges to maybe an eighth of an inch or so, somewhere in that range. And then take this back to the machine, and you may have to use your hand crank a little bit to get that zigzag exactly how it should be. So your settings for this, you're going to want a dense zigzag so it encloses those raw edges and doesn't have them fray over time. But then as far as the width of your zigzag, you're going to want it just wide enough that it passes into the hole of the entredeau and then passes on the other side of those raw edges. So you don't want it to be wider than it needs to be, but you do want to make sure it goes into the hole of the entredeaux. And then when it comes to making the length of the zigzag, you don't want any of the entredeau to be pierced. So you're going to want it in an interval that it skips that little horizontal spot, if that's making sense. And you can see this is what it's going to look like when you're done. And I'm trying to show you here that I don't have any of that entredeau pierced. So all of those little horizontal threads, none of them are being pierced by the zigzag. And I hope y'all can see that. And then once you're done with that, you're just going to iron over so that the seam is going towards the fabric. You don't want it to go underneath the entredeau, and you can see it under those little holes. And then you're just going to look like something like this, but of course, you're not going to use this hideous blue thread. You're going to use something that is light and delicate, a white or, you know, a ecru, whatever you're using. You're going to use something that blends in so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. But anyway, that's the general gist of how to do this. I hope it was helpful. If y'all have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, we appreciate y'all for watching and we will catch y'all next time.